Hi everyone, come to Remora TC to trade like a shark and not get eaten by one. Let's go together to protect and grow our money. One of my subscribers requested that I do a technical analysis of the STNE ticker. This is Stone Company, and I had to look up what this company does. They are a IT company providing e-commerce solutions to small and medium businesses, mostly in Brazil. Okay, I'm not a fundamentalist channel, um, so I don't attempt to review stocks uh, based on their uh, fundamental uh, attributes, but I do enjoy doing technical analysis, so let's get right to it. We've got the weekly view here to give us a broad picture of uh, the long-term trends. And you can see that price for the sticker started in the late uh, 2019. And you can see also that uh, the highs were in the early part of 21. And now we are at the, the bottoms. So the question is, uh, what, what does the technical analysis say about where this ticker will likely go next. So let me just kind of get started with the uh, trend lines and I'll walk us through uh, what I see. Okay. So let's see. Okay, so I'm just, I'm just kind of doing broad brushes here. Okay, no, um, there's no right answer, no wrong answer. It's just, I'm just getting a feel. And we'll tighten things up on the hourly. Of course, we'll also enable the, the momentum indicators to give us an idea as well. Let me just switch these real quick uh, to make them less thick so that when we go down to the hourly, uh, it's not so busy looking and easier to read. Okay. Mm. Let's see. Yeah, I'm not married to this line. So I'll leave it here for now and we'll see in a little bit. Uh, Okay, when I draw my channel lines, I like to, I, I disc, discount, I guess that's the word. I don't include the wicks when I'm drawing my lines. I, and I, it's just kind of my own preference because I feel price um, only went through the, that zone where the wick is. And uh, <clears throat> yeah, it wasn't, it wasn't there for very long. That's how I would explain it. All right, so let's go to the hourly. Uh, sorry, the daily, get a better view and clean things up. Okay. So let's look at this one. Go down to there. Move this a little bit. Okay, so what I'm doing is, as I move this line up and down, I'm observing, let, let me just show you right here. Okay, so watch this spot right here where there, there are these two green candles. I'm going to... Uh, move this down to about, yeah, actually about there. Okay. So reaction there, reaction here. Failed. Mm. Recovered, came back and retested from on top. So it's support. So I like this. Okay. So this is a legit trend line right there. Good. Let's look at this, this weird one, this odd one that I drew. So if we go like this, and so I'm looking here, and I'm going to move this line up, something like that. Okay. So reactions here, reaction, you know, a few here. These are two. Rejected there. Uh, that's pretty nice right there. Okay. And rejected and came back down. Okay. So I like that line too. So interesting, this pattern here, 
is a this type of triangle from here to here. Whoops, I can't draw it very well. Freehand. Okay. This one, this type of pattern is a uh, to me it's a a bullish pattern. Meaning, yes, price is hitting resistance multiple times up here. Right? Okay, so you have price hitting resistance here, one, two, three, four, five times, rejected five times. Now, each time it got rejected, it made higher lows, okay? Here's a low, here's a series of higher lows compared to this one, even higher, higher still. It didn't even touch it here, okay? To me, this is a bullish pattern, meaning there's a good chance that price will break out through here. So the way I would, you know, what I would do is uh, I would wait for price to break out if you're uh, feeling that this is a long trade. So let's take a look at the momentum indicators to give us a, a feel for um, what momentum says. Okay, RSI and PPO, RSI here, I'm just checking. Mm, okay. So the first instance of, so what, what I'm looking for is divergence. Okay. So let me erase these real quick to explain a concept of divergence. We've got, let's look at this one right here. This is a low and it's going down to a, another low. Okay, so one low and a lower low. Whereas here in the PPO, I'll circle it for us. We've got the low here, okay, which corresponds to this one here, but it has a higher low here. Okay, and you might say, wait, I can't really see that. All right, so I'll zoom in for you. Hang on a second. Let's see here. Okay. Here's the low, okay, right right there, it made a higher low, okay, can you see that? Great, so a low with a higher low, whereas price at a low with a lower low. So to me, this is diverging. When it diverges, it means that there's an opportunity uh, to have a change in momentum. So usually what I do is I annotate it with a green candle. Okay, this way, well, when I'm scanning the page, I can see that uh, that momentum candle very clearly. And the same case is down here. PPO confirms it. Okay, here's a low and a higher low. And in fact, wow, let's zoom out a little bit more. In fact, um, this low here, let's see here, this low here, so if this was a low, here's a lower low and then a lower low. <laughs> okay, so these three, one, two, three. Whereas here, it's actually going upward as in more momentum. So from here to here, it's, it's um, yeah, upwardly trending and it continues this way. So all of this from here is, what time frame is this? This is from December, December, November, December 21 until May. It's a lot of uh, pent up energy. Same thing with PPO. Look at that. Very obvious. A lot of coiled up energy that was building. Even though price was going down, momentum was going up. And here, here it is re released. Okay. So this is the release of the coiled up momentum. So here we are. You can see from PPO how the uh, oscillation is getting narrower and narrower. So it's tightening up. Usually what happens is it gets to a point where uh, it has to be released somewhere. Uh, I feel that uh, it will be a uh, substantial move. Okay, so uh, let's, let's slow down. Uh, I don't want to get too excited. Let me draw some horizontal support lines here just to be methodical in my uh, technical analysis. 
I like to find the tallest peaks. So I'm looking at this volume candle here. And I'll find the corresponding candle for that day up here. So it's this green one. And I like to draw, my method is to draw a horizontal line at the top of the body. Okay, that's one. So then I'm going to look at this guy here and find the corresponding one here. Okay. And to me, these are areas, these are horizontal support resistance lines that price will, will respect. Okay. So one, two, three. Uh, let's do this red one here. Same thing, top of the body. And any other ones? I'm going to zoom out a little bit. Well, there's one here, but it's way up here. Let's add that up here just to be sure. Okay. So it's right here. Great. Now, let's look at this. So where is price? So price right now is, okay, right underneath this trend line that we just drew, this 1175. So, oh, not 1175, 1183. So price is at 1175. So my, my thought is this, uh, I'm going to put a, I'm going to put a alert here. Okay. Actually, before I do that. So uh, first I need to give you a disclaimer. I'm not a financial analyst and I don't play one on YouTube, um, but I will give you my technical analysis uh, assessment of the tickers. So for STNE, I feel that this is a bullish setup. Uh, I'm going to put a, uh, for myself, I'm going to put it for this one, put an alert. So if it closes, um, let's see, if it crosses up and closes on the daily candle, on the daily time frame above this, this trend line that I drew, not the horizontal one, but this one, uh, then it will send me an alert. Okay, this is how trading view can be really uh, helpful. And why do I want to do that? Because uh, my feel is uh, price has a more upside. And what it will do is it will, when it breaks through, it may, it may take another week for it to bounce around here, coil up the energy, and then break through. Once it breaks through, uh, I feel it'll go through. It'll likely come back to retest before it resumes its upward move, okay? And this, this retest of support is where I want to take a long. And let's see where the uh, upside is, okay? Where is the upside? So the upside, hmm, uh, I, yeah, I would shoot for um, maybe here minimally. Okay, maybe in this, this first zone with the uh, full move all the way up to 26. So this is actually a, a decent one. So yeah, um, maybe first target here, take profit, second target here. Uh, let's take a look. So from here, from where we are here, from here to here is, wow, that's 15%. Holy cow. So we'll see. We'll have to, all right. So because the, the move is so big, then we'll have to play it on the hourly or the 15 minute because it's, uh, it'll be uh, very volatile and uh, that could uh, be extra painful for uh, for those who are not used to trading volatile stocks. So we'll see. I'll do more videos on this. I'll keep an eye on it. Uh, if this was useful for you uh, to learn some concepts and to get an idea about what might be a, a ticker to, to take a trade in, uh, then let me know. Uh, like and subscribe. Uh, share it with your friends and leave me a comment. Let me know if you think my assessment is uh, what it's you know going to be. All right. Good luck with your trading. Thanks for watching.